Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and on an unseasonably for this year, nice 1st of May 2024 and uh, we're doing a quick video on this freshly arrived yesterday, absolutely stunning and super duper rare 2019 Hymer B708SL. So Hymer, as most of you will be aware, uh, head of one of Europe's biggest motorhome manufacturing groups, which includes, amongst others, LMC Geist, Niesman Bischoff, Eldis in this country, um, Bursner, Deathlefts, Corrado, Sunlight, and others. Um, reputed for building some of the world's finest motorhomes, and this is their flagship Fiat-based single axle model from 2019. This actual van was specced up by Hyman themselves to go to the 2019 NEC show and they threw the book at it basically so it is a mega 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 spec. It's one owner from new, it's only done 10,000 miles, gentlemen just part exchanged it for a little baby Hymer A class so that his kids could drive it because this is of course four and a half tons you will need a C1 driving license but for those who want the absolute epitome of the Hymer A-Class with an island bed. This is the van for you. So the B708 SL, so 708 means it's the 7.8 metre um, top of the range one. SL superior line, supreme line. So they did uh, normal B-Class, BPL, which were premium line, and then they did BSL, which were, I think it's supreme line. Very rare, they were much more expensive than even a premium line, so most dealers ordered for stock the premium lines, but these got like Corian work, so they got the Aldi heating, uh, and of course the latest body shape as well, which I can't remember when that came out, I think it was like 17, 18, so this looks the same today as the brand new ones. Now, if you were to buy a, uh, if they did uh, an equivalent today, you'd be talking, I mean this one it was new, was 160,000 pounds, or 150, 160, um, so you'd be paying more than that so it's terrifying so this one it's a belter so it's got the big island bed to the back it's a full berth four seat belt four and a half ton based on the Fiat Ducato with the Alco chassis it's the 2.3 turbo diesel six speed automatic um, I think it's 180 horsepower don't hold me to it I need to double check that but I'd be surprised if it isn't if not it's a 150 10,000 miles only, it's in superb condition, so it's just come in, we've not cleaned it, but it, it is lovely, it's a real credit to the previous owner who was an absolutely lovely guy from up in Edinburgh, and he came all the way down here to buy this slightly second-hand Heimer off of us and part exchange this, now I love Heimer, so I've had a couple myself, and uh, yeah, this is very special, so 7.79 metres, 2.3 wide, 2.96 tall, 4.5 tonne, you'll need a C1 driving licence, but it will give you a very good payload. So looking really, really good. It's got the optional silver paint, which I think most of the SLs you'll see will have, but everything, of course, was optional. Uh, we do have a, uh, a spec list on this around somewhere, which uh, which we could give you an idea of everything it's got, because it's impossible to go through everything in the videos. But coming down this side first, we've got the coach-style wing mirrors. So the visibility is fantastic all the way around. I've been trying to work out if it's got double glazing, and I can't work out if it's got double glazing. I think it might have, but I could be wrong on that. Smart Goldschmidt alloys. And it's also got Goldschmidt auto leavening because again, this was the NEC show stand van. So um, Goldschmidt are a German auto leveling company. Uh, so instead of using leveling ramps and having a van which is admittedly very stable but will move around a little bit on the suspension, this one you press a button, four hydraulic jacks come down on either corner and totally takes the suspension out of play, levels the van perfectly, all fully automatically. You can even jack the van up using them to change your wheel, they're that good. So that's the hydraulic pumps down there for the Goldschmidt one and um, Goldschmidt are an independent German uh, suspension and leveling company uh, and to quote Victor Kayam here, Heimer liked them so much they bought the company. So double floor all the way around, you've got alarm sensors and a Cat 1 alarm on all the locker doors and all of your kit and equipment and ablutions are all between the floors basically so you've got first class insulation, nothing will ever freeze up, this is a 360 days a year. 365 days a year proposition. So we've got massive underfloor storage lockers, they're all heated. Look how clean that is as well. This is a van that we've not touched. Who brings in a part exchange without a speck of dust under the floor? That is absolute credit to the previous owner. Front lounge, kitchen, bedroom windows, it's the island bed one. 
big water tanks filled up in there, there between the floor. Gas locker for twin 11 kilo. Gas bottles if you're going for refillables, and this has got refillables because you changed to a van with refillables. Normally people swap these over, but this has got them there. So uh, ideal if you're going off around Europe because you can fill up with LPG at any LPG petrol station just by popping your LPG pump hose on there. So you've got more gas, you can fill up with some adapters in Europe, and it's much, much cheaper. Wastewater tank extension hose. It's even got a camera above the wastewater tank dump hose. So you can see when you're over the drain grid and open your wastewater dump point electronically. How posh is that? We've got a TV aerial on the roof. There's also a Oyster fully automatic satellite dish on the roof. That's about two and a half, three grand's worth. A couple of things we don't warranty on any motorhome. The auto levelling, we'll check it, we'll make it work, but it's not covered by our warranty. And audio visual equipment. So this one's got a beautiful satellite dish on the roof. We'll check it not working we'll let you know but we won't replace it but I'm sure it's working because he was still using this uh, right the way up to yesterday basically around the back we've got a multi reversing camera up there which feeds into a Zenek factory fitted Hymer sat satellite navigation system and then you've got despite it being an island bed a huge huge garage problem with island beds is quite often they steal some of the garage space but this is an Alco chassis they've built the floor level up and you've managed to build in a massive garage without having a bed you have to climb a ladder to get into so you've got a massive garage all carpets in there you've got external shower in there as well it's Aldi wet radiator heating which is quite rare in a Heimer um, so this one's got it so it's wet radiator heating there's pipes all through the van to stop everything from freezing up you've got tie down points in there as well strapping points all sorts of stuff and again in fantastic condition so it's got a cat one alarm and a category 5 tracker for the top of the range security system you see under there that's the auto leveling jack ram whatever you call it for there so we've got main hook up, double ledger battery and a solar panel on the roof, that's the solar panel. So the only thing it hasn't got, and that's because um, Heimer didn't sort of spec it, and um, previous owner had had one before and, and never got any use out of it, it hasn't got a, a, a driver driveway awning, a wind out awning. Um, but we can fit one if you want one anyway, but a lot of people actually don't want one second time around. More underfloor storage. 16 inch alloys, Alco chassis, it's not a Fiat chassis, it's an Alco chassis from there back. Big wide habitation door, electric step, and fly screen door across there. And you step into what is a very, very classy bit of kit. Heimer do understated quality way better than anybody else. Now they're not for everybody, it's not got all sort of super bright white cabinet work of an Adria it's not got the sort of disco light setup of a uh, of a burstner but what it has is a lot of class and a lot of quality I didn't really get Heimers because you pay a lot for a Heimer uh, but once I started selling them I always work for a Heimer especially with we're Heimer dealers you sort of appreciate them and uh, yeah they are brilliant brilliant bits of kit so that double floor also contains all of your batteries and things so we've got double battery there chargers in there you've got a very very nice sine wave inverter now we may have to just remove that or remove a wire because of national caravan council approved workshop scheme regulations that we have to adhere to but talk to us about that uh, inverters they will change the charging your leisure batteries into mains which to be fair most people don't need to do anyway but we'll have a chat about that anyway and we'll explain sort of the rules that we have to adhere to as regards inverters but it's a dirty inverter so lots of storage everywhere inside just needs a quick sweep out it's got a bit of bit of grit in it from people moving stuff across not been smoked in if it's had a dog in you would never know it so i don't think it has so base vehicle got to check the horsepower on it but fit Cato alco chassis we've got climate control we've got the big screen zenek german um Home a factory fitted sat nav stereo unit, leather gear stick and steering wheel. We've got heat vents around the front. We've got the full concertina. Is that electric? Is an electric front blind? I think it might be, you know. I'm open to being wrong on that, but I think it might be. 
let's have a look at the many many buttons so over here we've got many many buttons we've got a radio isolator we've got your electronic water dump points and we've got the electric front window blinds. I think that's standard on, on SLs. So instead of having to pull that down manually, the front blind, you press a button, down it comes, basically. Oh, there we go, yeah. Very, very smart. Oh, extricate myself from the cab. So you've got a swing down front bed, which I can't do one-handed because I don't know how to do the catch. Um, but that's a full-size double bed. That will come down to dashboard level s-class table so this is a beautiful real wood table you pull it apart and a middle bit pops up and you have all these people sat around it loads of this mid off-white cream cabinet work got Wi-Fi on the roof as well as an audio visual extra that's something else we don't warranty but it is there loads and loads of plug sockets you got Corian Worktops, marble, basically marble-esque worktops. Very, very smart. It's got the Thetford UK oven option. Three gas burners. That's in a bit of use, but it'll clean up all right. That's neat. This is a drop-down coffee machine shelf. And I don't know how to drop it down, so I'm not going to force it. But you'll see underneath of there, that's where that comes down. Got your satellite dish controller up there. Loads and loads of kitchen storage. Good kitchen for a European van. Now, if you wanted a microwave, of course Europeans don't do microwaves, but if you if you did, you could fit one in there. So I'm sure we could fit a uh, plug socket in there for you. Really nicely finished all the way around as these SLs were. Big for Treezer, three-way, automatic energy selecting, mains if you're hooked up, gas if you're not, 12 volt off the engine when you're driving. Flat floor throughout, front to back. And then to this beautiful bedroom. So the bed slides up electronically and it will slide back down electronically. Um, so you can sit up in bed, drink a cup of tea, read a book, whatever. Big storage underneath, loads of plug sockets. Comes with a TV there. Where's the front TV point? Yeah, that's just a question where the front TV point is. I wonder if the front TV point is down there. Hmm. <laughs> I suspect it's in there, even though it doesn't look deep enough. No, that's just a cupboard. Well, that's a mystery, isn't it? I do do these videos on the fly, folks, so some people criticise me for that. But, um, but yeah, it will have a front TV point, I'm sure. I just can't work out where it is. Oh, well, I'll come back to that one. So, yeah, beautiful bedroom. Hers and hers wardrobes. High-level cupboards. Massive picture windows. Fantastic. So you can look out at your inferior Bursner array classes over there. Yeah, just a beautiful thing. So there's a screen that will come across here, segregate the bathroom. Look at this for a shower as well. That's absolutely massive. Hanging around on a skylight for ventilation. Very, very cool. And then shut your bedroom door off. And you've got a stunning ensuite. Yeah, fantastic. Not a lot to say about that. It is just a lovely, lovely van. I like it very, very much. So it's 99995 It's an awful lot of money. It stacks up for what it is. One owner, 10,000 miles, loads of history, loads of kit. There'll be more to this than I've mentioned as well. Um, so yeah, loads and loads and loads of features. Um, and it's super duper clean. It's really, really nice. So... That is a mystery where the front TV goes. It must have a front TV point. How strange. Oh, well, we'll come back to it anyway. So, Heimer B708SL, Island Bed, flagship of the single axle Heimer group. It's a cracker. Give us a call, 01626 832 792. We're busy uh, doing these videos 
or out with customers call on the mobile 07432662558 uh, come and see us at, at Highbridge Motor Homes Newton Abbott Devon it won't hang around long this one I know it sounds like a sales line but it really really won't um, you don't see vans like this every day there's probably only four or five of them brought in that year and this has got to be the best one so home of b708sl comes with a new mot a cam belt if it's not been done a major engine service a bulletproof 12 month warranty a great handover and two free nights on a campsite for afterwards so give us a call hybrid motorhomes devon thank you very much goodbye